Hi guys, in this video, I wanna to talk to you about the AirTags. Now, these are Apple AirTags that I bought with my money. It's not a sponsored video. I had them for six months, so I can tell you how they work and you know how, what was the feeling as a perpetual traveler to use those. I have eight of them. I paid 250 Canadian for them in Montreal and I traveled the world with them. They were separated at one point where my wife was back already in the Middle East and I was still in Canada and I had some tags lost in Mexico, uh, a luggage that didn't follow, and that worked very, very well, okay? So anywhere the tags will work. So long as you have an iPhone to basically piggyback the system, they're gonna work very well. All right, does it help against theft? Personally, I would say no, because they're easy to find. Um, they also emit a sound, so anybody can find them very easily. Uh, does it say that you're traveling with the tag, like somebody has a tag, you know, like hidden in your car so they can spy on you? Uh, yeah, you do receive the email the next day, but I did that with a friend of mine and actually after one week, he had received only one uh, on the second day and nothing after that. So that's weird, okay? It's not like every day they mention that a tag is with you uh, that doesn't belong to you. So I don't know if that was normal, but that's what the tag behave. Um, a lot of people say you cannot share them within a family account. I don't exactly understand. I don't think so because I have eight on my phone. They're also on my wife's phone uh, and every other device that are linked to the same family account. I can track her. She can track me. Uh, I don't know. Like, I don't maybe Apple changed that, but a lot of people that I watched review when I bought the tag told me that you couldn't do that. You can definitely do that. Can you follow a package with it? Yes, I did. It works even over the ocean. So, so long as they have a, some kind of internet connection with the plane or something, you can follow. Um, so my luggage, same thing, okay? I had my drone with me in Toronto and Egypt Air told me that I had to put in the check-in luggage because I couldn't bring in my carry-on because of course in Egypt, you're not allowed to fly your drone. You could be arrested. Uh, I have a permit for it, but they still, you know, argued. I said, okay, I'll put in my check-in luggage and those bastards, they actually remove it from my carry-on, uh, sorry, not my carry-on, my check-in. And when I landed in Cairo, I didn't have it. When I check, my uh, tag was in Toronto still. Okay, anyway, so I don't have it. I'll have to ship it by FedEx, whatever. Uh, I made a video on why you, should, you know traveling with a drone is becoming more and more difficult. You can watch that video. It's in the description below. So this so far is fine. The way I'm using my tag the most and I've used them in Canada the most is that I had, let's say seven, eight luggage. So, well, you know, carry on and, you know, whatever my keys and the, the you know, the BMW keys and then the keys to this, the keys to that. And then, you know, my daughter's backpack and my, my luggage for the drone, you know, just a little case. So eight items that I was bringing in the car every time. So we got to our hotel, we offload the car, reload the car. Um, the drones, oh, sorry, the, the tag's not gonna tell you, for example, that you forgot the drone on the nightstand or something. But if you check on your app, it will say with you or not. If you see an address, then the drone or whatever is not with you, so therefore you know that you left it behind. So this is kind of cool. So every time we were about to leave, we sat in the car, I use my app, quickly check if all the stuff was with us, and if it was, then I was just gonna exit. Same thing when I exited the airport, when I arrived in, uh, in Jordan, I realized that my, my drone had not followed, it was still in Canada, and that's it. That was as simply, simple as that. And yes, it worked inside the terminal, so long as the staff pass close to it with the cell phone and the Bluetooth picks it up, it's gonna relay it to you. Um, internationally, it works just the same, okay? So even if I'm in Jordan or whatever, in Egypt or somewhere else, and my tag's in Canada, when I refresh, I will see my tag. I will see my tag move. So it's, it's very efficient, it's very fast. It's connected to the internet like anything else. That works very, very well. I'm really happy about that. So for $25 or 30 bucks, depending where you are, if you buy also a kit of four, it's cheaper. It's really worth it, I mean, honestly. Um, I use them also to track my daughter to school so I know when she arrives in school. One day she forgot her backpack in school, I knew immediately she arrived home and I told her before I, you know, she even realized it, you forgot your backpack at school. Uh, this is nice. Uh, again, if you lose something, will you be able to track it? In North America, with my iPhone 12, I can easily track the tag inside the house and the arrow points to it and I can pick it up. Uh, in Europe, it does not work very well, okay? First of all, because even your Wi-Fi signal doesn't go through through rooms because in Europe, everything is built in concrete. So, uh, yeah, to find your tag is pretty tough. The only way to do it is with the sound, uh, but you try to track it with the arrow. My experience, it doesn't work very well. Um, 
I also tried with my wife in Montreal in the Costco, uh, you know, just because I knew she had her tag on her purse. I was trying to tag, you know, see where she was and also that failed. Um, I don't know. It's not really that efficient. So you, maybe you have to be very, very close. By the time you're so close, you know, you're probably going to see the object or you're going to be able to find it easy. So yeah, that feature is not that great. Plus, if you have a 10 or a, a later version of iPhone, it's not going to work. You won't be able to track it. So yeah, so that features I don't use. But overall, I think it's pretty good. It's not an anti-theft system, but it's a way of tracking your things relatively fast. And that's pretty nice. And yeah, um, buy the tags. I mean, honestly, it's a good product for cheap. So anyways, I hope you liked the video. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. I'm going to continue making those videos of items that I actually test and I actually have experience with. If you like this video, please subscribe to the channel and give me the thumbs up. I'm going to make a video like this almost every single day, teaching people how to move around the world, travel, how to prosper anywhere. If you have any experiences, if you travel anywhere, please tell me where you travel. Post it in the comment below. If you have any questions, I do answer my comments. And also, if the question is broad enough and I think enough people need to hear the answer, I'm going to definitely make a video about it. Also, if you want to learn how to make money, how to prosper, I retired at 33 years old, multimillionaire. How I did that? I did that internationally, online and offline. And I have a sister channel that's teaching exactly how to do that. So if you want to travel and make money anywhere, this is the channel for you.